Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and good day to everyone who watched this video. Today I would like to bring you reflexes, the technique that can improve your vocabulary learning in English toward fun and meaningful class environment. This technique was designed uh, by me, Azalan Bayu Zakaria, and my friend Muhammad Nizam bin Abdul Ghani. We are from College Professional Mara, Bandar Penawa, Kota Tinggi, Johor. The content of my presentation will include first, what is reflexes? Second, the learning framework that we use to design reflexes. Third, the beat and bars, the two important parts in reflexes. Uh, fourth, mood messages and self-reflection that the student need to do when they use reflexes. And uh, number five, uh, the how to unite ideas through rhyme word. Uh, one of the important uh, aspect in uh, rap and lastly I will do some sort of conclusion uh, in the end of this uh, presentation what is actually reflexes all right the word reflexes come from the word rap and lexis rap here symbolize rap music or maybe rap uh, instrumental and specifically in reflexes we use rap beat and lexis means vocabulary. Lexis is a linguistic term that we use to refer to words or vocabulary used in the target language. All right, learning framework of a reflexis technique is designed based on Howard Gardner theory of multiple intelligences. To do reflexis first, you have to find the beat and bars. Second, after listening to the rap beat, you have to ask yourself or ask your student uh, to uh, uh, plan what to write and then make sure that the lyric uh, reflect themselves or relate to their life and lastly after they get everything they have to unite all the ideas by using the rhyme word and they have to use a rhyme zone uh, as a platform in their learning or see basically in the first stage they will develop their musical intelligence all right, uh, we go to the second part and third part. They will develop their intrapersonal intelligence. And lastly, when they unite the ideas, they will develop their linguistic intelligence based on Howard Gardner theory of multiple intelligence. Okay, what is beat and bars? I've mentioned before, beat and bar are very important aspect when you use reflexes. You can understand a beat and bar as a measurement in a rap okay one bar consists of four bits or one bar equal to four bit and why are they important all right uh, when you know on how to identify bar you can easily assign the student okay depend on the the instruction for example you uh, want them to perform it in pair all right or two percent in group so you said uh, one person must rap uh, 16 bars each so the group must have must choose rap beat consists of 32 bars all right so they have to know and you have to know on how to uh, count the bars all right for the beats all right uh, when when a student want to uh, use a rhyme word they should rhyme it in the second and fourth bit all right so when you count uh, one two three four so the two the second bit and four the fourth bit is the is the part where they have to rhyme okay let me show you on how uh, to count the beat and bar okay we uh, bring uh, the music this is very simple usually uh, rap music have uh, uh, at least 16 bar but th this one I just uh, bring you very short one I have cut it because I want to uh, your the simpler way to uh, to count the bar okay this music contain of uh, four bars okay that is begin okay this is introduction you don't need to count uh, anything yet okay just enjoy it feel the music you okay, ready one two three four two two three four three two three four four two three four and the end Right. Usually, uh, the the rap music have a uh, sixteen bar at least. But this one, I just show you the uh, show you the simple one on how to count a bit.
All right, after you have finished uh, accounting uh, the bars and the bit, the next stage is to find the mood, message, and self reflection uh, when listening to the music. All right, you can find the music from YouTube where you can just find a uh, type what you like, for example, you like uh, Japanese or so Japanese rap beat. There's selection, plenty of selection that you can find from the YouTube and then choose it and let them the student listen. All right. And then uh, after listen, you have to find the mood message and do some sort of self reflection. For example, I use this music. Right. Try to listen. What is the feeling associated or what is the emotion associated with this music? Okay, first we come with mood. All right, the mood of the uh, music maybe, all right, it's a sad or disappointment. All right, or maybe uh giving up. All right, uh I think that is the 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 feeling that can associate with that music. All right, and then we come to the what is the message they want to deliver to the uh, their lyric. Maybe uh they want to show that they are strong in facing a difficult situation, and when they do a self reflection. Uh, maybe they will write something. Uh, I always made my parents disappointed on my academic achievement. So through this rap lyric, I want to express my uh, feeling and emotion. All right, I guess this is the hardest part uh, for the student when they have to unite the ideas with the rhyme word. Okay, but there are variety rhyme scheme that you can choose and you can use a lot of uh, variety scheme. Okay, for example, we have uh, first came a a a a where all the words of the in each uh, bar rhyme all together like feeling dealing healing and revealing all right second scheme uh, a b a b this is like our traditional pantun all right mama always cries so cries rhyme with the rise failing rhyme with prevailing uh, third scheme is a a b b all right so game uh, rhyme with proclaim and uh, a rhyme with transcend and I also add uh, some more uh, to complete the 16 bar. Basically the last line I use uh, A, B, A, B. All right. And how to find the rhyme words? Okay. You can use a rhyme zone as a tool. Okay. For example, you want to find the words that rhyme with road. So you write road, you type the word road and then uh, choose uh, advanced rhyme advanced okay and you can uh, you will given you will be given a list of word that rhyme to the word root as you and challenge in this process uh, the student to use uh, vocabulary that they never used before all right apart from the rhyme word the student might also know the def definition the homonym the synonym all right the the, the definition descriptive word and also part of speech, whether it is noun, verb, adjective, and adverb, and so on. All right. So by using rhyme zone, you can do more than that. Okay. It functions as a dictionary, uh, thesaurus, and also to find the rhyme words. All right. Let demonstrate what we have here. Okay. Associated with the music and the rap lyric that I have made uh, with a variety of scheme. Okay. Ready. Yeah, maybe I'm not good in rap, but just uh, demonstrate you how to rap. I've got such feeling, hot to be dealing, surely isn't healing, the sun to be revealing. Mama always cries when I keep feeling that anger surrise, my self isn't prevailing. I promise to win the game, the victory I proclaim, never stop until the end. To the journey I transcend, I may be the same on the difficult road. Please you comprehend, I don't need to be bestowed. Alright. Okay, it's, it's actually a need of practice, you know. Uh, ask uh, the student to keep practicing uh, before they perform it in class, uh, in, in front of their friend. And I think it can help your pronunciation because you have to rap uh, uh, in very fast. Alright, uh, so this is actually the slow uh, motion, slow beat of the rap. Okay, so you might ask them to choose that beat that. Uh, that uh, they are comfortable with. Okay, I hope you understand uh, the previous slide, the technique to use reflexes. Alright, to conclude this presentation,
phrase, reflexes technique encourage students to learn vocabulary incidentally in a very fun uh, and motivated uh, uh, environment. All right, when they use a rhyme words, right, teacher must challenge students to use the vocabulary that they never used before. Secondly, rock genre is chosen in reflexes because of uh, its uh, commonness or universalities, right? Uh, when students have their own preference, for example, maybe they like certain genre of music, for example, they like rock, so they can uh, choose rock rap beat in the YouTube. Or maybe uh, they like a certain culture like K-pop, so K-pop rap beat. Maybe they like just simply thing uh, like uh, pizza. They like to eat pizza. They are obsessed with pizza, so they can type pizza rap beat and they can find uh, plenty, a lot of uh, uh, rap beat related to pizza. You can try it. All right, uh, reflexes promote collaboration between peers and teachers to accomplish the task given, especially when you uh, assign in the pairs or a small group four to five, for example. All right, uh, stu uh, teachers in this process must facilitate them. All right, uh, they will ask how to use the, this word in the right context. So teacher uh, together with their peers and also the tools named Rhyme Zone uh, is the best tool uh, in to help them to in, to enhance their vocabulary learning. All right, uh, Rhyme Zone not only to find the rhyme word, it also function as a dictionary and also thesaurus. All right, uh, this technique may be used to teach other second language skill such as sentence construction when you want to uh, uh, when you want them to practice develop uh, maybe simple sentence compound sentence or construct sentences maybe you want them to practice the pronunciation to the rhyme words all right or maybe just to build up the confidence of the student to use uh, the second language in front of the audience all right i think uh, a reflexes is very uh, flexible. It can be used from kindergarten until the varsity level because we know that music is the something that people love in this world. Everyone in this world like music. Okay, that's it from today. I think this is the end of our presentation. Thank you so much and assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.